Hello there gorgeous human, I am Jyoti, your spiritual best, your spiritual guide and in today's video I am going to be talking about how to let go of the sugar cravings and junk food cravings and cravings of watching porn and all that thing. I know these are very wide topics and I may make separate video on how to get over these addictions separately like porn because it's a big addiction. It has been a big addiction for us. Like it has been such a great stimulation for us because as children we never got introduced to healthier way of learning about sexuality. So we were naturally being attracted to that way of being but in today's video um, the most uh, focus is going to be sugar cravings and junk food cravings but the analogy uh, and the process can also help in you know getting over other addictions so first of all you gotta understand that anything that we do when it comes to our habits and way of being it's a form of a coping mechanism to feel our feelings so for example if you're feeling like okay you know what tomorrow i have a very big interview and i feel very stressed and nervous about it uh, nervous about it now you never knew how to feel your stress how to feel your nervousness and deal with it in a healthy way what you learned was that whenever your father was in stress, what he did was, you know, run away in isolation and drink. That's what he did. Or uh, whenever, uh, suppose you are feeling uh, there is a conflict with somebody and now you're feeling that, you know what, this is a conflict and I'm definitely going to lose it and then the other person is going to leave me. That's what it's going to happen and then I'm going to feel very abandoned. And all this process, maybe when there is a conflict and two people talk about it, they come closer, you know, the conflict resolve and then they understand each other much deeper. But you never saw that. What you saw was like if there was a conflict, you got abandoned. Maybe there was a conflict with your mother and um, she was not very mature. The way she dealt with, she dealt with conflict was by beating you. You know, so you felt completely unheard, unseen, abandoned. So now when you, now in your adulthood, whenever you um, see like, you know, there's a conflict, how do you deal with it? You would just run away from it, you know, you would either people please or you there, you, you will just out of stress, you will start to eat sugars or uh, junk food. What? when you learn to feel these uncomfortable feelings your desire to indulge in destructive habits naturally goes away slowly slowly okay or and sometimes it's not even slowly slowly sometimes you just feel you just learn to feel those uncomfortable feelings and next day you're like i don't want to do that I and i and i have the strength to feel this feeling and not indulge in that you know those kind of behaviors i you know whenever i'm having a bad day recently i was like you know i saw something that i was like you know what i've been really being disciplined about it and this thing didn't happen and i felt it like you know something not turning out the way that i wanted to uh, I was hoping to and I was working towards it and it didn't turn out that way. So I just snuck myself in the blanket. I cried more than I went to my dog. I hugged her and then I cried more. After that, you know, I got up from the bed. I did my hair oiling, massaged my head, put oil on my body, massaged my body, went to sleep. Next morning, woke up, showered, dressed up and showed at my page to write, like, you know, at my study table to write. And did my regular activities and showed up for that thing again earlier if something like this kind of disappointment would have happened for months and sometimes for years i would just like you know give into like you know a bag of chips every day and just being in bed all day being in like you know it will take toll on me and it will knock me off off my discipline 
but ever since i have learned to feel these feelings they don't they don't pull me down you know and i persevere in my self care and when i say self care that means i know if eating junk is not good for me i have the strength to not indulge in that and you find healthy and alternate way okay right now when i'm stressed what i'm doing is going towards eating a lot of sugar sugary foods so what can i do instead maybe throughout the day i eat fruits more because they are already sugary and the more i'm introducing myself to natural sugar by the way there is lot of a uh, rant about that you know how fruit sugar is bad it's all bs i eat fruits every single day it's my breakfast fruit sugar is not at all bad, bad. ripe bananas and all that god gave you that because it's good for you all right in that form mother nature that kind of sugar is good for you and by the way i'm talking about you uh, leaving your sugar cravings and junk fruit cravings i forgot to tell you who i was before 2019 if you meet anybody who knew me before 2019 they were crazy how could i eat so much sugar one time i, rem- I remember uh, i was living with like you know sharing um, um, flat with some girls and, and one of the girls had the birthday and everybody had just like a simple slice of cake they didn't want to eat it i ate the entire cake then and uh, then um, next morning there was half cake left i ate that also like because there was two three cakes and then i uh, and after that i had a like a chocolate shake then i had waffle later and it's just one day i'm talking about this was the story of my life like uh, so much cheeses pizzas and like um sugar like unhealthy amounts of sugar every single day every single day because i saw growing up everyone in my family would eat so much sugar to deal with their stress to deal with emotional like lack of emotional intimacy to feel uh, to deal with the pain of isolation that they feel the loneliness that they feel how are they coping with that because they can't feel it fully they just numb it through sugar you know N- eat and numb it so much that you are now sick and you can't feel that feelings right so i have healed that and wow yeah of course i have healed that also eating sugar sorry eating fruit sugar is not bad but from a natural fruit not like that product that they sell you know what i have this fruit uh, juice in the um, some market some some packet and all they are not good at all but uh, pure fruit oh my god it's a blessing to your body when you start to bring more fruits into your body into your life your life starts to change drastically your energy starts to like blossom in such a good way it's like good high quality it's like god energy you know you feel in your body in your aura in your cells in your organs so it's very 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 good and never ever 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 give into this belief that you know what fruits are expensive i know it's been told that it may be little bit but the it costs same you know what your health when you invest in your health it pays over time and by the way i was so scared to spend my money on fruits and one day when i was sitting in the meditation in 2019 mother told me because i was going to change my lifestyle and i was scared like how am i going to do it like how am i going to you know afford it you know and then there is this strong voice of mother earth which was strong but at the same time subtle that you are my child and i will provide and then every then i got that courage to invest my money into fruits so i'm sharing this with you so that anytime you are scared to make some healthy change know that this entire universe supports you in that do not let the voice of fear convince you it is not real get back into your faith say you know what i feel afraid but i trust that god's got me and god's got this and god's going to take care of me because god is truly going to universe mother earth your higher self whatever you believe in that energy is going to take care of you and mother earth oh man she is like a mother and she is going to take care of us once you start to listen to that voice because you know what when we are not building that connection through journaling through praying our voices of limiting beliefs and um fear get so loud and we give in to them um this was um needed to be said but coming back to the main topic of how to 
uh, let go of the sugar craving it's through this you know by finding healthy alternatives you know uh, okay whenever i feel uh, feel the need to eat so much sugar what can i do instead can i go outside and play you know can i can i eat fruits instead uh, throughout the day so that i'm not feeling the need to feel sugar right can i genuinely can i develop the courage and strength to actually feel the feeling that i'm feeling instead of avoiding it if i'm feeling pain can i actually feel it and one of the easiest way to feel by the way you can also book a one-on-one -on -one session with me because i can support you so powerfully because i have let myself out of major major levels of darkness traumas and limiting beliefs lack and you know low self-confidence so i can support you in all of that you can check out my uh, like one-on-one -on -one session description in the link down below but other ways is journaling can you develop that strength slowly slowly to feel your feelings through journaling through praying and through like creativity creativity you know brings us into the present moment and lot of the times the fear that we feel the anxiety that we feel are being you know projected into the present moment from the past so when you indulge in creative activity you coloring a mandala creating something anything like maybe flower maybe an animal and you know just wait i'll show you and something like as silly as this you know just just some silly like um, doodles can you just pick up your color pens and start doing that and that's how you build the strength to feel your feelings learning to feel your feelings is such a great skill and you know and feeling your feelings and still doing the right thing it's such a powerful it's skill it's a it will make you multi-millionaire okay this is that powerful this skill is that powerful you know this give brings you emotional intelligence and i highly recommend that you learn that the simple way of feeling your feelings is journaling and you know all these things but also sitting with that sensation if you sit with the sensation of anger you will not die this is false like okay if i feel this pain that i'm going to die if i feel this hatred that i'm feeling towards this person maybe your parents were so rude and bad and uh, bad to you and they uh, literally um they they, they 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 were you know very verbally abuses they would uh, demean you they will put you down on daily basis so now you feel very strong hatred towards them but you have learned you know what you cannot feel hatred towards your parents and that is wrong but you can you really can feel f because if you're not feeling that no and you you walk in this world suppressing that hatred you will become a match to people that you know will be angry towards you will project that hatred onto you also you become so resentful in a very shadowy way you can never form great connections so it's rather you feel it and you move through it feel the sensation of it how does it feel in my body where am i feeling it and breathe slow down and be in that feel those sensations i was not feeling like making this youtube video because i was like what is the point like nobody watches me no I, am i having any kind of impact and i felt that anger i felt that disappointment that pain like okay my efforts are all going into waste there is no result you know and this is what i wanted to do and i felt that and after that i got inspired to do the video otherwise i was not going to do it so it's so powerful learn to feel your feelings and st still do the right thing and when you learned that all the other uh, all other ways that you have learned to deal with your stress nervousness pain disappointment you know junk food they will slowly diminish you will naturally do not want to indulge in them and you know choose the healthy habit instead you know and that's the way i love you i'm here for you comment down below if there are any questions i may have missed some points but if you comment or you email me i would definitely respond and uh, answer to you 
and book a one-on-one -on -one session with me i love you i'll see you tomorrow in another video thank you for being here today i really appreciate you also a reminder that you know summers are coming so lot of water we are going to like enough water and lot of fresh fruits we are going to be eating and getting adequate amount of sleep and we are going to be prioritizing prioritizing you know getting enough sleep every single day Hmm. Wow, thank you God for 